In our previous video, we talked about data safety and performance, and how Neo4j achieves and exceeds those expectations. In this video, we will cover the third area, scalability. We will discuss what challenges scalability brings to graph databases, how we can reframe these challenges in a more useful way, and eventually how Neo4j deals with these challenges. When discussing database scalability, there are two axes that are usually employed. The first is data volume, meaning the database system should be able to handle increasing amounts of data without hindering performance. The second axis is resource utilization, by which we mean the ability of the database to use more hardware resources as they are made available to it. These two axes are not entirely independent, and in fact, are often combined in solutions like sharding, where data is split in pieces and spread around multiple machines, dealing at the same time with both increasing data volume and hardware utilization. Data volume and horizontal scalability are two obvious aspects of scalability, but what others can we identify and, more importantly, can we find a unifying theme across them? If we start thinking about application development and the aspects of it that evolve over time, we can start seeing more scalability concerns. One is the sophistication of the queries made against the system. As an application grows, the use cases it is asked to handle become more and more complicated. New features are added, the user experience becomes richer, more sophisticated connections between existing pieces of data are required, and overall, the queries from the application increase in size, complexity, amount of data they access, and in their coverage of the overall database schema. In this case, scalability takes the form of the system being able to manage increasingly sophisticated queries with the same ease as simpler ones, without performance suffering or putting undue burden on the query author. Since query complexity is an application concern, we must also recognize a corresponding effect on the database side, schema complexity. As the sources we draw data from get more numerous and complicated, the entities we store in the database become more complex too. New types get added, entities get new properties, even indexing structures need to be revisited. The result is that for a given query, the result set gets not only bigger, but has more conditions it needs to deal with. Even security concerns evolve over time because as your operations get more complex, more users and roles need to be defined to keep things under control. The underlying theme in all of this is complexity. It encapsulates not only the concerns I already mentioned, but can also explain the first two axes we talked about, data size and resource utilization. In fact, Data size is both a cause and an effect of increasing complexity, while horizontal scalability is one of the solutions we can employ to manage complexity. Sharding, in particular, is a set of techniques meant to physically segment data so that the system can view it more coherently and keep the user's experience simple and smooth. The message here is simple. Scalability is how you manage complexity. In previous videos, we discussed different data models, where they come from, and how they affect the life cycle of applications. It is reasonable to expect that a graph database will have different ways of scaling and, as a consequence, a different impact on your application compared to a relational database. So, the obvious question is, how does Neo4j deal with complexity? Or, if you like, how does Neo4j scale? To answer this question, we need to look at how complexity manifests in graphs and investigate its sources. We will end up in some unexpected conclusions, but the patterns we will discover will give us tools that will help manage complexity and even take advantage of it, making scalability an opportunity instead of a liability. 
That will be the topic of our next video. So I look forward to seeing you there.